Hey everyone, and welcome. My name's Aaron, and today I just have a special treat. I have my friend Kyle here in the studio, and uh, Kyle and I have been friends for a while and sort of tone uh, nerd buddies and mm -hmm. guitar nerd buddies, and we thought it'd be really fun. It's been long overdue to do uh, kind of a demo of your monster pedal board here, so thank you for bringing it in. Thank you for yeah. being here. Thank Mister. you. How, how do you want to start here? How do you want to walk through the craziness that is this monster down here? <laughs> um, so I've got a couple things going on. Yep. First, uh, kind of underneath, uh, it goes into a This One's Mine buffer, so shout out Kay. to Dan Burgess. Uh -huh. um, and then from there, I think I just come right up into the Deep Six compressor by Walrus Audio. Okay. And, and is that always on? Yes. Okay. Gotcha. I do go into volume next, okay. which is fun because then we get to change how the drives do their things. Sure. From the volume, we go volume. into my switcher. Also, this one's okay. mine that I got off of Reverb. Um, in the first channel, we have the uh, sub and up from TC Electronic, mm -hmm. and then the giggity from Voodoo Lab, uh, 385 for Walrus from Walrus, for yep. Walrus. Thank for you. Walrus. Thank you, Walrus. For and from. For and from. Yeah. Uh, then next I have the full drive, uh, and then another Walrus, the fuzz, contraband fuzz, which is really fun. Yep. And then we get into our flavors yeah. of reverbs and delays. Yep. So we have, in one loop together, I have the Bellwether and the Meteor. Then DD20 is in the next loop. Okay. And then we have the last walrus pedal which is the monument trim into the big sky yep. in its own here yeah and then i have this big expression knob but i don't have any trs oh. cables that's cool so oh, what does that do well you can use it as an expression pedal just gotcha like you have your little red one that you yep like so this. that expression is just sort of built into your switcher yeah. there yeah oh, and that's it's cool. got a little jack here that yep. would go plug somewhere into that yeah but you need a trs i don't yeah i don't have any i might be able to hook you up <gasps> <laughs> Yeah, fun. I might have one. Fun. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, uh, a switcher on a big pedal board like this is used to basically most of Kyle's pedals are going into this switcher mm -hmm. rather than all being in, in line so that when he's not using certain pedals, they're not even active in the loop at all, which cuts down on noise. Yes. And um, also just keeps your signal like nice and clean. The more cables you go through, the more pedals you go through kind of the more top end you'll typically like lose and right. um, things like that. So you're, these these switches are basically just taking the place of the switch on the right. actual pedal and then you keep the pedal always on. Right, exactly. And then you put it in and out of the chain via this switcher. Right. Correct? Right. Yep. Home run. Home run. We've got it. And I like to uh, gain stack my drives sometimes. Yep. So I can very easily turn on these two. Yep. Or these oh, yeah. two. With one mega with stomp. One, with one big boot. Yep. And tell me about your amp. Ah. <laughs> oh, man. About a little over a year ago, I yeah. got a Benson Amps Vinny. Uh-huh. Uh, my wife surprised me. Yep. How many watts are in that? One. One watt. The only one. <laughs> it's only... That's, that's all, all you really one you need. need. Yeah. yeah. If you have a microphone in front of it, it can yeah. be as loud as you need it to. Yep. Um, but yeah, I got to go down and meet Chris and the crew uh, yep. a little over a year ago. Yeah. And... The nicest people ever. Yeah. And I got to play through Chris's Vinny and some other fun stuff. Cool. Well, yeah. why don't we just go through pedal by pedal and do a, just a really quick demo of kind of each pedal by itself and, and what you like about it. Sure. And why it's on the board. Sure. Yeah. Maybe so, let's maybe we'll start actually with the compressor. Yeah. Let's just do let's just do with it off here. Yep. So what do you what do you like about that thing? Uh, it just makes everything all right there. Yep. That's I guess I kind of use it a little bit as a clean boost too with the level around two o'clock. It did boost. Yeah, yeah it did so, boost just a hair. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's super fun. I love the blend. Right. Um, so I can tweak how much of the yeah yeah blend knob here. Yeah. So this would be uh, no compression at right. all. That would be the same. Now, as I turn up the blend, I'm blending in the blend of compression versus dry signal, right. so. That'd be, 
A hundred. A hundred percent compressed is right there. Yeah. Hear that kind of slappy, grabby thing. Love it. Fine. Love it. Cool. So getting into the pedals that are not always on, yeah. uh, what do we got first? So the first guy would be the TC. TC. It's the seven up, the big red. Oh, the hello. Little, the little red okay. one. What, what do you use that for? Uh, well, in, in my band, we've got a, I've got a couple parts where that comes into play with some of the other stuff all mixed together. It's just sometimes to fatten a thing up or yeah. if there's a cool lead line up here. Right. So it's like a 12 string without the annoying aspects right. of a 12 string. Right. Yeah. With octave stuff, it's typically the subtle thing mm -hmm. that y you wouldn't think, oh, there's a... Right. There's an octave on that, you right. know, or whatever. But you throw you throw a little bit, and it sort of boosts it like a clean boost right. would, but in a way that's kind of more ethereal and interesting, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And then there's also this the attack. There's a little more plucky, and so it sometimes punches. Yeah. If everything else after it's really washed. Right. Out. Cool. So that's fun. A, that's What's a fun next? One. Next yep. one, uh, the giggity. Giggity. Let's see without it. With it. Kind of using it as a clean boost with a little bit of grain, grainy. Yeah. Uh, but that one's a really cool EQ tool. The sun and moon knob. You can go from super bright to super dark. With Jazz Masters being super bright, if you yep. want the bright stuff. Right. So it's super fun. Yep. I leave it pretty bright most of the time, yeah. but you could hear it almost sounds like we have a humbucker all of a sudden if you yeah. go all the way dark. So, right. So that feels good. So would you right. say that's your, like your medium type of drive yeah. or lightest drive? Probably or the light. Yeah. Cool. We'll say light. Yeah, light drive. Yeah. We'll say light. That's fine. Yeah. G giggity. Then we got the 385. <laughs> That's badass. That's ballsy yeah. right there. Yeah. I like that. What's the story behind what's the story behind that? Uh projector amps from the thirties, forties. Uh huh. And a lot of dudes. Wait, been, what do you mean projector amps? Like you know a projector. From like a from, from like a over like, like a, a film, like a film reel? Yeah. Okay. So the Howell and Bell um <laughs> models with the walrus dudes were like, We're gonna make this into an amp and some other guys have been modding those for a while. Oh I see. Which is okay. cool. Fun. That's a little bit more aggressive yeah. and uh, kind of mid-range bite. It's got mm -hmm. a little uh, 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 thing to it. Yep. Yeah, what's next? Full drive. Yeah, so it has a full drive. The full drive 2 has the boost, which you can yeah. turn on. Uh, That's great. That's that's pretty mean. Yeah. The full drive is to me. It sounds like it's like a little more of the smoother. Um, I don't know what that is as far as like the harmonics and the way the clipping, you yeah. know, whatever works. But... Yeah, we'll say like asymmetrical and symmetrical, yes. and right. I don't know which is which because I forget. One is one, and the other yeah. is the other. But the thing I like about the full drive is I use the comp cut mode almost exclusively, so it's not okay. the compression of a of a tube screamer style. Yeah. So it's. Got it. I don't want to say it's analog drive through because it's not, but it's yeah. not like this. Yeah. Uh, what's next? What do next we got next? We have the contraband fuzz. Okay.
So you were you were kind of rolling down your volume there. Yeah. And it sort of had the, almost that that broken amp um, yep. kind gets, of sound. It gets buttery. So yeah. Fuzzes are really input sensitive. Right. Um, the other cool thing that I like about this particular one is just the thick, thick and thin thick switch. Thick thin. Let's let's switch that. Yeah, cool. What's next? Next, we have a combo. Yep. Where we have the meteor and mm-hmm. the bellwether. Um, so and just the meteor is a reverb, and the TRS bellwether is cable. Bellwether is a delay. Pedal. Delay. An analog. Analog delay. With uh, dry signal through, so like yeah. the unaffected tone that you hear first. The dry is 100% dry. Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks. I love that combo. Yeah. It's where, uh, it's where I get my modulation on between the Meteor and the yeah. mod circuit here. Yep. We did, uh, for those of you who care or are curious, we did mm-hmm. a whole video on this Meteor yeah. uh, on my channel. So go and check that out. I wonder if I can like post a link somewhere. Check out this link. And not Maybe this I can't. one. Maybe I can Yeah. I'm not sure if I can do that. I've never done that before, but we're going to see. Uh, so it has all kinds of weird modulation and distortion and, uh, yeah. and stuff like that, which um, if Such you're into that kind of thing, yeah, just, let's, let's find, let's so find can... some of these sounds. That's the sound that it makes by itself. That's like, that's like Blade Runner. Yeah, you know, some intense scene in Blade Runner or something. Can I plug into that? Yeah. Madness. That thing's fun. Another thing that I forgot to say anything about is yeah. this Cela Quartz right here. Oh yeah, what's the tempo, story? Buddy. What's going on there? Well, this guy yep. uh, is just a tempo sharer. Global tempo yeah. distributor. Um, and uh, they've been putting out some really cool videos on YouTube of like what it's capable of, which I'm just scratching the surface on. Yeah. I tried programming a few songs just so I could go through my set. Um, and so what you're doing right now is tapping and it's sending up to four um, just using regular cable. There's also MIDI in and out. There's a USB jack so you can like program everything. So it does that like via the tap tempo input on, on a given like whatever, yeah. or whatever it got. Yeah, it. so when you tap, it sends a certain number of taps. It sends the tap. To everybody. So it's right now got it's it. syncing up the bellwether, the monument trim, and the DD20, so they are synced up. Gotcha. And what it's also um, yep, capable of doing is doing um, 
different subdivisions from the pedal itself. So if I wanted to say yep. the the monument tremolo is always a sixteenth in comparison to a quarter note, uh, I can do that here. Yep. Independent of it, also has a, a subdivision knob on it as well. Yep. It does look cool. Yeah. Also, the switch feels really nice, even yeah. on my bare sock. Yeah. Which I I want to apologize for wearing socks in this video. You can see I wore shoes. Yeah, Kyle is much more manly than me, ah. but. You know. Yeah, okay, what's next? Uh, so let's see, we'll turn that guy off. And yep. then next up we have the DD20. Yep. Delay, classic. So if we tap some tempo. Yep. Some really tricky things. That's like sort of this. fun. So there's some fun That's tricks fun. in here. And then I come back and turn this guy on. So yeah, that's a great little combo. Yep. Two delays, digital delay, analog delay. What's yeah. next? What do we got next? Getting down to the end of it here. Yeah. Tremolo! This one's probably my favorite though. It's just half of a triangle, so it's like ramping up. Okay. It's not as down, severe down, as down, the down. on off of a yeah. square. Yeah. And then we have one more. We have one more. Yeah. which is, I think, set to like 19.1 seconds or something ridiculous <laughs> like that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's like not enough time to even really demo the thing or, or get into it. But the big sky is just like the king of all reverbs or the queen, the queen of all reverbs. Yeah. Let's do one thing. Yeah. Let's just try, just because I'm interested in, in hearing your amp versus my amp. Sure. Maybe dial up uh, a sound. Sure. Just what? Just a basic sound that you like, and let's just compare the two. Uh, let's get that on there. Okay, hold that thought. Into. Same thing. Now we're now we're in the Jackson. Case yep. in point, that sounds way different. Very different. Um, that's wanna, just sort of fun. Do you want to do the the one more thing that the Benson does? Oh yeah, what's that? Plug your amp into the back of my amp and. The Benson drives yours. So, we're basically using your amp as like a preamp before my amp. Right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, also, still going to be coming out the front of my amp too. So you actually. Oh, have both. Two. Yeah. Yep, okay. <laughs> 
We were at nine o'clock. Yeah. Now we're at three o'clock on the Vinny. Checking for peaks. Yep, yep. <laughs> yep, go ahead. We yeah. could have yelled over that and yeah. not hurt that's our not, voices that's not crazy. or our ears. Well, fun, man. Yeah, thanks for coming over. Rad. Yep. Thank you so much. Yeah. Kyle Frank, everyone. Hey. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. All right.